Uh, Silva, the Great Forest. I didn't expect all this to be uh, to take me here. Beautiful, isn't it? Hauntingly. The rangers call this place the Root. You know, some of them say it's what the world looked like before. Before? Before what? Well, if you believe some of the stories, the founders didn't find this place green. Uh, they made it. The seed and soil brought uh, from somewhere else. Somewhere else? Where could that possibly be? That I can't say. Part of the job's not asking questions like that, Alethea. Yeah, well, I don't want a job where I, I can ask questions. That seems like a terrible job, right? Uh, I guess we're dropping down? Ooh. XP uh, conduit. I'm all for those. <laughs> uh, I, don't, don't do it. Alright, don't dodge here. Got it. Uh, oh, we opened that node. Okay, I see. Are you serious? You little bat dude. You're a bat jerk. There we go. Can I see? How do you get? I'm trying to think. Yeah, because we can't. We can't. Uh, exactly. Uh, dive over there with heavy attack, and that's not gonna hit it. That that will though. There we go. Infused Amanita. That was worth it. Alright, so we got a, a good boy over here. We can jump on those. Damn. That was actually kind of a little clever thingy there. Oh, we got a uh, Durandal. What do we got to kill here? We got to kill ourselves 10 Piranha Bats and 5 Clockwork Defenders. All right. Well, we're not done here. Looks like we still have some stuff over here, too. Oh. We still got some spike ceilings here to take care of. There we go. I feel much better about that. Um, how do we get through? Looks like we have a couple things. There is a. Oh, might be able to take advantage of this bat spawner. You guys need to stop. Oh, shit. Damn, I was really hoping that, uh... We would be able to to uh, take advantage of that spawn, but that sounds more annoying than anything else. I don't even think we have access to a tether yet, do we? No. All right, so that thing's dead. All right, so we're not going that way either. So this, this is more or less a dead end. If we don't go far enough, maybe we can trigger the bat, though? Where'd he go? Try 
trying to see if I can no it doesn't look like I can hit him outright oh I can do this there we go that's pretty good I can knock out this uh, thingy pretty easily then there you go and then we'll just go back the other way and we can do this a couple of times How many, uh, how many is that? Uh, we got five of the ten. I'm not going to waste my time doing this. We're probably going to run into more. And we still never found out how to get to that corgi. I'm assuming that's where the chest is at as well. Instead, what I'd like to do is see if we can find ourselves a, a tether. There's Renard. Jocasta. Nikayan? This, this this, is madness. I'm sorry, Renard. I truly am, but Anoya made her choice. I do not intervene. I wouldn't be standing here. But I fear we'll only get harder from here. We must steal ourselves what will must come next. The Achaeans have shown their true colors. It's time to end this. But this... What you're suggesting... She said you were wrong, Balthasar. Said there was an abyssal knight? Tell me, just what is going on here? You want the truth? To dredge up a past better left forgotten? As your faith in me so easily shaken, me, who lifted you from squalor. I need not remind you of the Scleroman, Renard. How it took the life that you might have led. How she took the life you might have, life you might have met, led. Is it so simple? Is everything she really said really a lie? Please, Balthasar. I need to know exactly what we're fighting for. I need to know you're right. You must trust me, Renard, as you have always done. Know that the pain that drove you to me was her doing, and everything you've done since, whether base or noble. Trust, I understand. Above all, I I can't fail Canaan. They do not fail, falter now. Fulfill your oath. Do not let anyone interrupt me, and should the Abyssal Knight come, do your duty, Renard. There is no other choice. Hey, and we did find uh, another tether. That's good. Still kind of a loss of which direction we should go. I'm assuming we need to go to the right, but we still have... Okay, we can't go up. That much is certain. We can go left, though. Hey, it's... Uh, what's his nuts? Leon, that's it. Oh, of course not. You think I'm some sort of stalker? No, Leon, an opportunist. You and Erd else is going to buy your trinkets. Trinkets. Relax, Leon. You might be uh, something of a scoundrel, but I'll be damned if your accessories haven't proved useful. But what are you doing here? Silva's no place for a merchant, even one as resourceful as you. Faust sent me. He's curious about the strange new plant and creatures cropping up around here. Of course, he didn't say they'd be so damn dangerous. That certainly sounds like Faust. Say, I don't suppose you'd be willing to collect those samples for me. Uh, uh, gods, uh, what's the job? It's not so bad. Just a little might dust dangerous for something like me. Uh, might, might bit dangerous for someone like me. But for you, a uh, cakewalk. Fine, what does that mad doc need? You know those nasty little bugs bounding around here in Silva? Faust wants a sample of their venom. All right, all right. You know, I'm pretty busy Leon, here, Leon. I do it myself, but uh, I'm not sure I'd survive it. And besides, if what Faust tells me is correct, whatever an Erd is he wants to con concoct with that venom, well, I think it might come in handy for you. In the meantime, care to browse my wares? Something tells me this might be the last chance you'll be able to craft new accessories. Oh, really? Oh, he's got the steel gloves. I'm gonna go ahead and snag those up. And I think, honestly... I don't think I need anything else, because I, I think we have the other items. Because uh, I think we have, I think he's selling the cracked monocles, is that what it was? There's something he's selling that we have already. Oh, the steel bracers. We do have the correct monocle, though. 
I'm going to take those, and then I'm also, apparently I have notes for him. So he's going to sell, oh, the plasma catalyst. And the epinephrine. Definitely going to buy those off of him. Because uh, those are things to craft over at Bram. But it's not going to be the last chance to craft, because uh, we definitely have items we have to turn into Bram in order to get... Uh, the other items. We also need to find some more R uh, X78 alloy. And I'm assuming that's also probably still down in the scrap sea and uh, or Ford X where we haven't cleared out everything. Ah, oh, finally. The seams down there were fogging up my lenses. Cass, this is unlike anything you've ever seen. I know. But those strange fumes, the animals, even the damn plants. Lately, it seems like everything's has here's been meaner. Stink and a few nasty weeds. I've handled worse. I don't want this place to deceive you, Althea. Stay on your guard. Oh, we got another vault entrance or something. Emerald? I mean, we could still apparently utilize it. Oh, wow. go damn wasps out of the way cool but there is no way to go that way can this hit us okay you cannot that's good news Unfortunately for us, not able to. Oh no. Oh, that was close. That was way too close. All right, that's that enemy taken care of. I assume that means there's a wasp nest nearby. Oh shit. Need to heal up. Alright. And uh still gonna be on the lookout. Oh we got a Guard over here. What is up here? Clanking around so hard. Oh, God. Defeat every type of enemy at least once. All right, cool. Can we, uh, we can't hit that. Oh, there's nowhere to go over there. All right, so. What would have been the purpose? Maybe there's some sort of airflow, because I see a device. There's just no way to interact with it from here. There's also a chest underneath us. How do we not see the chest? Oh, I see. There's like a there's a vine there. I don't imagine we can dodge through it, can we? Nope, we cannot. But I am curious to know. Oh, okay, that's how you do it. Explorer's notes, so there's more stuff for Leon over here.
you got over that ledge entirely by accident. I'm glad we did. All right. Um, from there, it looks like we are making our way even higher. If only way there's a way to like lower the spikes below us. Or at least get a shortcut open up. Nothing to gain from going that way. Yeah, so there's like wind turbines here. That's got to be useful for something. Oh, we do have a, sh a shortcut ladder, though. And just barely enough XP to, to not get anything from that one. We did get the level up though, so there is that. We can also head over here. It looks like there might be a drop down. Yep. Leon should be right here. Right. Uh. Oh no. He was actually uh, below us, and apparently there was an ability uh, orb where he was at. I don't know how much of the poison he wanted, though. How much of that poison did he want? Three of the five venom sacks. Got it. <clears throat> I'm also assuming that the guys with the shield are the defenders. The clock defenders they were talking about. Um. Yeah, there he goes. I forgot for a second while we came over here. So we went to uh, drop off the notes. Uh, we get the Onyx Belt and Infused Amanita. The Onyx Belt is actually really good, especially for, like, damage. There we go. Um, what items are we using currently for our character? We're using the Silk Scarf, which, honestly, I think I'm about to have that removed. This one is definitely not coming off. This one gives us gun damage and crit chance. And of course, the final one is the max health and blade damage, which actually this is a... Uh, I think this Onyx Belt is going to pair well with it. Plus, we get more health than we get with the Scarf. I think it's worth it, honestly. And it says we have a... It says we have a thingy in here. Where could we have one of those at? Oh, you know what? I wonder if it's uh, saying ability point uh, available, but that's for, like, completing the quest, maybe. I guess there's only one way to find out. We'll have to complete the quest. But honestly, I think that we were intended to go the way we've been going. I think going upward is probably our best method. Although there is some stuff over here to be said about going to the right here. How do we deal with that thing? Like that. That's how we deal with that. There's another Venom Sack. Oh, and there's the Corgi. Ah, oh, damn it. There we go. 
I don't believe it for a moment. We wouldn't be able to survive that. Uh, oh, we'd use that fan in order to get across that distance over there to the right. So we need to figure out a way to turn on these fans. Oh, shit. Well, we got baited. Um, there's also some stuff below us. No. Oh. Jesus. That's so very precise that you have to be careful there. So there's that. We got another infused Amanita. And now we can make our way down. Damn it. I keep on missing the ceiling spikes. Now, how on earth would you get there? Because I'm assuming that's how you would. Oh, that was close. That's not what I meant to do. I was trying to do a... Maybe I do a jump and then I dash. Oh, it doesn't work there, though, because I was thinking about it. And I realized you can't really jump there, mostly because of the fact that you jump directly into spikes. How did I? Nope. There we go. It takes a little bit of finagling, but you can do that. And we have a couple of chests hidden down here. Not chests, but points of interest. No, oh, no, chests. I was right the first time I talked. works for me um not gonna worry about that thing mostly because it doesn't seem to be all that important to getting like I don't doesn't look like I have to kill that in order to get here oh god All right, so there's one. So we're going to have to go to the right in order to get that. And then might as well use that one as well. Uh-huh. Okay, that's that one. Jesus. All right, uh, so one more. For the life of me, I, I don't know how we're gonna get up there though. Looks like maybe I have to go from this side. So now that that's there. And that's that last one. Okay, so that should be all of them. Should be able to just fall on down over here. And go over here on this left side. Ow. There we go. Here's one chest. 
A corrupted ring. Now, there's another... Okay, no, that was all the chests. Okay, cool. So that's all that's down here. Now we can go back up. We gotta check out that corrupted ring when we get a chance. Well, the rest of the tether, we'll keep on making our way upward. Sorry about the slight detour there. Part of me felt like maybe that detour was very worth it. I guess it'll depend on what the corrupted ring provides us. All right, uh, let's see. Corrupted ring. Oh, wow. Okay, so it lowers our resistance, but it gives us a massive bonus to our gun damage and our gun, uh, our blade damage as well. Can we toggle? I wish it would show a comparison. So this lowers our health a little bit and it lowers our resistance by Jesus. I guess it's like almost no resistance. But like the, the, the damage boost is massive. It ruins our crit chance though. Incredibly large amounts. I don't know. I mean, I'm sure that's a, I'm assuming that's the, the, the trade off though, is that that's a, like a, a glass cannon type item. All right, so let's head back up uh, now that we've refueled on potions. There we go. What is this way to the right? go my guy's down who puts it's like spikes in their factory floor um okay so we can drop down there we go We got some more scrap going in here. I'm not even going to worry about trying to kill this thing. Just going to jump up. We don't have a key card of any sort for this one. Oh, we got the emerald key card. We know exactly what that's for. Let me go ahead and drop down. I'm not going to be able to open that door. And we're not going to be able to go any further here. I don't think so. No. So now that we got the Emerald Key card, we can open... I want to say it was down there. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was down there. Uh, but we couldn't go any further. That's probably going to give us that uh, uh, ability to get over down to that Corgi. Um, oh yeah, here we are. Oh, wow. Then, uh, the break damage we got from the accessory, uh, swap out earlier definitely is assisting with us. Uh, essentially, you hit the Emerald Key card right here, and this allows us to turn on these fans right here that are going to take us skyward. So... Now we have the ability to essentially uh, have ourselves a cool little shortcut and we can totally just let this take us up into the air if we want. Uh, you can go faster by jumping, FYI. Um, I just haven't. Although. Oh, 
well there we go and that helps us get up there that's pretty cool um we can actually continue to go up like can we or maybe no maybe not uh, we need to keep on going to the right over here uh looks like that's going to be a good bet for us seeing as how we need to go to the right over there it looks like we can go up but i, I want to check out this other stuff can i can i uh actually make it up here looks like i can oh Oh, that's cool. So it allows us to get to a lot of places we couldn't beforehand. Oh, we can. that means we can get that Corgi now as well. We got some defenders here. We got an infused Amanita. Um, we've been... Oh, no. I don't know how we're gonna oh man that was a uh, that could have been way way better but we were definitely stuck with that guy looks like we found ourselves a hidden ladder that's gonna take us upward I want to get that ability point up there. I am assuming that I need access with that key card. Actually, we might be able to run over there real quick and grab that. I don't know if the emerald key card works on that, but I'm sure we can find out. Gonna have to take care of this dude first though. I am playing this all sorts of bad. There we go. That charged up shot probably was the better bet. Got a beer there. Go ahead and chug one of these. And then we're gonna just move up this as fast as we can. Oh, actually. That's where that was at. So wait, can I? Can I move up this and uh, activate this at all? Did that just open up the door? Is that it? Okay, so that's all that did. Okay. At least we know now what we did not know before. And we'll take up this ladder right here. Get another jumping point here. There's also a quarry. Oh. Well, how on earth? I, I'm, I'm so lost for words. Oh, oh, I see, I see. That whole wall isn't spiky. Yikes. Oh, that's a that's gotta be jumped. A lot of trial and error here. Oh no. Oh my god. That's this is hard. Very precise jumping to get through there. All right, so you definitely gotta let the use the shroom to get over that first hurdle. We just gotta wait till the last second before we use our second jump because that jump is just it's too high and you can't shorten it i don't think oh my god 
We did it. We did it. What did that do for us? Please, there be. Uh, I bet this is how you get the corgi. It is. <laughs> Damn, Hudson. Definitely uh, one of the more trialing things to get here. And it didn't look like you can't even get to that chest from there. So this, the whole point of coming this way is to get the corgi. So I guess we just head back down. I'm not even going to worry about trying to fight that. We're just going to leave. All right, now we've done that, we can head upwards on the actual path of where we're supposed to go. Oh, except we can't. Ah, looks like we need to find another way to get here. Can we go any, where else? Oh, it looks like there's another place to go up higher from in here. There we go. It would have been, I think it would have been difficult to try to fight him there. Oh, I see now. Okay. So yeah, those uh definitely coming in handy right there. Glad we finally found the Emerald Key. We do see a shortcut. We are just above. What happens if we get maximum XP? See, oh, by the way, uh, one of the other things was apparently 50 is the max level. Uh, I know that now, but it doesn't seem like getting XP after the fact does anything for you. Oh, oh shit. Um, gotta figure out a way to get over there. Oh, these things could fly through the ground? Wasn't aware of that. Uh, can I... I don't know how we get that one. Is there ground beneath us? There is. Oh, and we're, and we're out of charges. Damn. I'm gonna have to hit something. There we go. So now, oh. So now, as long as they don't die from right here. There we go. Doing a lot better now. Oh, shit. And don't double jump there. Double jump for the first one. All right, I didn't even double, I didn't even do a, a first jump. There we go. And this will be a chest. Leon's brew. And now we may need to make our way upwards to the left. Damn. How did I... There we go. All right. Just got to be very smart about using your jump charges. Uh, we did see a... Uh, I was pretty confident we saw a shortcut ladder somewhere. There's a chest right here.
There those guys go. Uh, looks like we have two options to go left and to go up. We'll continue going left. Then we'll go up again. Oh, we found ourselves a tether. Very nice find. Another ability point. The, uh, now the, the sad thing is we're low on ability points, but the good thing is we also are very close to maxing out the ability tree. There's only a number of things left for us to grab. Uh, Ability-wise, the only things left we have to grab are the Whirlwind Finisher and the Charge Concussive. I've managed to pick up all the other stuff. Uh, obviously, we still have the potion things as well, but I'm not too concerning about that. Um, let's go ahead and grab that one. Oh, and we have, oh, nice. We found a, um, a conduit for traveling. This is a, okay, so this is a one-stop shop. Uh, we can actually go back to your collar real quick and uh, head over to Bram and make some purchases for accessories. And honestly, we're, we're kind of at the end of the road for uh, most of our purchases and we can end up probably taking off uh, the piece of gear that ups our, um, our scrap orb and as well as our uh, experience orb since we're not leveling up anymore. So let's see, and we might have enough to also upgrade our uh, healing flask, do we? Okay, nice. All right, so now we have eight charge of that. And uh, we also have the the Omni, uh, Omni Catalyst. See, this one requires us to grab the Steel Breastplate and RX-78 Alloy. And this one requires us to get Titanium Greaves. Or the, uh, so two RX-78 alloy is needed and one steel breastplate. Okay. Um. I'm not even sure if I really want a lot of those. But I will say that I don't think we need to equip that, uh, what is it? Which one of it is, is the... Uh... Yeah, I don't know. I don't think we need this anymore. The treasure crown? Uh, scrap would be fine, but like w we have more than enough scrap to make any of our future purchases. I'm pretty confident. Uh, I'm probably going to end up swapping that out for something else. Like uh, energy gains from orbs would probably be pretty nice. Uh, let's see. I mean, the strength ring can be pretty good, too. Honestly. Where's the, uh... Cassandra headband is probably a good trade-off, because we're getting blade damage, as well as max health. I don't know. I don't know what we would do. I want to make sure that we keep some resistance because the, the crown gives us, what, 5%? So as long as we're getting 5%, I, I'll, I think I'll be fine. Uh, titanium gloves. We already have that equipped. Arr. Oh, you know what? We're going Simon's Locket. 10% additional crit chance. And we are, in fact, getting the um, resistance that we had before. Yeah. So now that we've done that, I'm going to go ahead and race back over to Sylvan Grove. Uh, give me just a moment. We'll be right back there.
All right, so we're back in the Sylvan Grove. And we're gonna make our way over here to the tether again. I'll just save ourselves right here. And we're gonna continue on to the west. We shouldn't have much further to go, I wouldn't imagine. Looks like we have a boss fight ahead of us. Well, look who it is, the Saltner. Just one vanguard. You really think that's enough to stop me? We shall endeavor to find out. Now, draw your sword. Really? Don't you want to talk my ear off first? Most of the vanguard are all prattle. No offense, Cass. Careful, Althea. This one's dangerous. Lady Cassandra, it seems I misjudged you. A pity. Well, are you prepared or not, Saldner? No mistaking that attitude. You must be Eliza, Lady of the Broken Lance. Uh, she's mine, Cassandra. You get out of here. I perilously little patience for those uh, little these little introduction girls. No interest in your name or reputation, only your actual skill. Show me how that hot uh, how that how hot that fire of yours blazes, Saldner. Let's make this a duel to remember. Okay. Okay, so we gotta watch out for that one. So you gotta jump. Oh shit, she comes down fast for that last one. I'll go ahead and heal up. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do some extra stuff as well. Okay. Well, she missed her chance there. Um, roll. Roll. Seems easy enough. I don't know if you're trying to make this easy for me. You can go harder if you want. Okay, well. In her defense, she listened to me. But she's over. Man, that was fast. You're not as strong as they claim. You're far stronger. Finally. A real fight. Go, Saldner, and leave me be. You've earned this. You fought well, Eliza. Now, rest. Cinder, she put up a fight. I wouldn't have expected anything less from her. Time to step off this cast before my sword arm gets tired. Wait, you can't just go storming through the front gates. The entire weight of Marope is thrown against us. Even you wouldn't stand a chance. Besides, there's been enough bloodshed. Settle approach has never been my way, Cass. What do you suggest? You'll need to trust me on this one, but I have a plan. You should know this is a one-way ticket. Hope you've had your fill of the forest. Are you ready? Um, no, I don't think we are ready. Uh, especially if this is a one-way ticket. I think we've got uh, a little exploring to do. 